What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. Yay! Can't get rid of it. It seems like you all love a good light stick video, and I love unboxing them, so let's do another one. XG! XG are on the top of their game right now, and in my opinion, one of the best girl groups in the world. I think that's true. Aside from being the best at what they do in terms of their music, stage presence and attitude, they also have some of the best merch I've ever seen. They did a huge drop of a bunch of super cool merch a few months ago. Aside from the light stick, they dropped a whole bunch of very nostalgic type merch. There was one that really took my attention and I will show you that at the end of the video. So stick around. Here she is. Just landed. Just landed. Fresh off, fresh off the craft. <laughs> For real. This is fucked already. <laughs> like, look at this box. It is insane. I think this is the first time we've ever had a box that you can actually see the light stick through the box. Uh, yeah, I can't remember one. It's so cool. This is it wrapped in plastic in there? And like Wrap me in plastic. And make me shine. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks a little bit trash. <laughs> Don't speak like that about the queens. <laughs> Very futuristic box here, very space themed. It's literally the whole thing is shiny and like holographic. Oh yeah, you can actually see that on camera, that hollow. Really nice shiny XG here. And like a little, what do you call this? Like a plan of the light stick. And it's got all the little parts labeled. One, XG parts, two, mode button, three, slide button, four, battery cap, and five, strap hole. <laughs> Love that. XGALX, and that's the name of this ship. A new breed breaking boundaries. 100% they are breaking boundaries. And a little wolf. Wolf. <laughs> it's a wolf. What was that from? I'm a wolf. This wolf thing though is because their song Woke Up is like wolf themed. Like they wear a lot of like wolf outfits and ears and stuff. It's so freaking cool. And little um, metal teeth. <laughs> It's so cool. The wolves from outer space? Yeah. Well, XG's concept is that they're like aliens, right? They're not actually human. They're extraordinary girls, but somehow also wolves. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vibe. On the side here, oh, okay. We've got all the members' names listed here and their color next to their name. So this light stick has obviously these colors as the modes and each mode is supposed to be for the different member. My bias is Harvey, so I'll have it on purple. If your bias is like Maya, you'll have it set on red. Um, so that's cool. They've like listed them on the side here. More futuristic shit. This side, we just have Alphas written here. Alphas is the name of XG's fandom. That's a rough one. Why? Like Alpha Wolf. Watch the bodies I do not like Alpha Wolf. <laughs> they just alienated the, the hardcore music K-pop crossover of my fandom. Crossover. <laughs> I was supposed to do like a you know, like parallelogram. Pick, you know, like pick sweeps. Pick sweeps. You mean a Venn diagram. Venn diagram. What did I call it? A parallelogram. No, it's not a parallelogram. It's like a square that's like. That's a parallelogram, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, we're going real off track here already. Extraordinary Girls on the top here and on the back. Oh, we've got a lot of information. User manual QR. Oh, does that mean they don't have a paper manual inside? You've just got a little QR code that's very uh, future. Thank God. Oh, it's got the materials on here. It says silicone. Does that mean we're going to get like another soft feeling one like the um, Zyker's one? That would be pretty cool. Maybe she's got a good grip on it for once. Instead of just being a fucking plastic tube. Yeah. <laughs> You're like at the concert, just flies out of your hand. XG official light stick version one with XG trading cards set of seven. Very excited that it comes with photo cards, as always. All of them. It comes up with all the members. That's yeah. Good. Yeah, so good. The one thing that I'm that's kind of piqued my interest here is target age 12 years or older. So like if you're under 12, you can't use the light stick. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna like accidentally swallow the pieces or something. I think there are some pieces that kind of come a part in here, so maybe they think that an 11 year old is going to swallow the pieces, I don't know. Maybe the strap is exactly the same size as an 11 year old's neck or... Oh god. It just seems weird, like I'd understand if it was like under four years old or something, but 12? Like the sad onion there has a slightly different face to usual. Surely there's a lot of K-pop stands that are like 12 years old. Money more. Should we get into it? Nah, leave it in the box, preserve it. It does look like you could bury it like a time capsule. And then someone would open it and be like, what is this old shit? Like it looks, <laughs> it looks futuristic now, but if someone un, like unboxed it, un, unburied it, 
Un... How do you say that? Dug it up. Dug it up. <laughs> <laughs> if someone dug it up in the future, they'd be like, wow, this looks so old fashioned. What is this? Other than the fact that the box is kind of shiny, it looks very eight, like an 80s toy. True. I guess it does have that kind of vibe. It's like futuristic, but also retro. It's a bubbly ray gun. Yeah. Zap. <gasps> and that's how you stay relevant. You just cover like every single point in time. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking boundaries. At least it's no under 12s. So I yeah. can be, I can be unhinged. We've got a little sticker here that I'm not going to be able to get off without fucking ruining the box. Do you want a knife or? Kniffy. I like how instead of contemplating the question, you just like... <laughs> that lives there now. All right. Do I always sing a song when I pull it out? Ooh, the inside is cool too. Oh, it's really hard to see that on camera. But there's like a reflective layer in the back here that's got like a picture of the light stick on it. It looks so cool. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, you can see in there, it's got like a really cool reflective silver backing with the light stick printed on it. I love that. That's so sick. Like I want to keep this box just because it looks so cool. I was going to say, that's new. We don't have light stick boxes littered around the house. <laughs> well, to be fair, like I use them for other stuff. Like my one us light stick box is full of doll clothes. <laughs> That's where I store them, so that if I want to change the clothes on my doll, I go, oh, my one-off slight stick box, and then I have little outfits in there. All right, we've got, what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, it's actually like inside here. So we've got to pop it out. Well, I thought that maybe it was just to protect the photo cards, but it's for the whole thing. So we pop this off. Oh, that's a nice sound, I like that. Even this is cool. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I just think everything's cool. And here it is. Oh my God, it's pretty small. Look how small that is. What the hell? It's tiny. Let's take off the plastic. Oh, it looks pretty cool though. Wow, okay. There's so much detail on this. Holy shit. There's the silicone. It is for the grip. You were right. God, I don't even know where to start. Well, we'll start with the silicone because I already said that. But yeah, this looks like it's Probably not supposed to be able to take that off. Yeah, it's like a silicon grip part and it's got the little claw marks in it. And on the other side, it's the same. And it's got like a fake screw on there in silicone. I don't know why they did that. I feel like in the future though, we'll find a way to cover up screws. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like screws are gonna be very futuristic. XGALX, a new breed, breaking boundaries on both sides there and a nice shiny silver lettering. This is how you turn on the light stick. Pew, 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 pew. Like a little ray gun. It's so cute. This other button on the back here, what did they say that was? A slide button? I think I know what that's for, but we'll see once I open up the top part. The top here is a little spaceship. It's so freaking cute. Just made of like a clear plastic. Um, I keep trying to like just take everything apart. Um, the back has these little like ignition, ignition? Extinguishes? I cannot think of words today. <laughs> what do you call these? Yeah, like a little rocket boosters that the flames would come out of. And little things on the side, little fins to help you go through space. The cool thing about this though, I'm pretty sure this opens up. I'm wondering if that's what this button's for. Let's see if, what happens if we press it. No, that didn't do anything. I'm really scared that I'm gonna have to just pull this and it's gonna freak me out. Oh, okay, that was pretty easy actually. So you just kind of have to like push this a little bit back and then it comes open. Ooh. And we've got the little XG at the top here. So all this part I presume lights up. But the cool thing about this that I found out is that this comes out. So that's what I'm thinking this button is for. So if you press this, I feel like that might mean that you can take this thing out. <laughs> I should have scanned that QR code for the manual. Cause yeah, there's literally no manual in here. Watching you do this always reminds me of like people who buy cars and then just like try to wreck them. Oh, you? <laughs> oh, so what is the slide button for? All right. Give me your phone, Josh. 
I'm just gonna keep struggling. This whole channel is just me struggling with things. Thanks, mate. Oh, let's scan that. Fuck. <laughs> Already, really? Peekabon. The slide switch is for changing modes among three different functions. Top power on, middle power off, a bottom Bluetooth, Bluetooth mode. Then how does it tell me how to get the thing out? Other functions. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is telling me that I have to spin this that way to open it and then pull it up. Oh God, I'm so, oh, okay. Well, that worked. Oh, it just, oh, it just unscrews. That's all right. That was way less scary than I thought. <laughs> so <laughs> that part comes out. And then the cool thing is you can get little attachments of all the members' names like this, and then you can have that inside your light stick and have their name in there. So that coupled with using their member color, that's pretty freaking cool. You can really like show your support for your bias, which is a really nice, unique feature. Well, it comes with the XG one and then you have to buy <laughs> the other one separately. All right, well, we figured out what this button is now. So we've got a Bluetooth mode and on, mode. I've forgotten which ones which <laughs> we'll find out once we put the batteries in. As I said, super small, but it feels nice. Like it feels quite heavy and it doesn't feel like super unusual for it to be that little. Like it would be kind of weird if you had like a massive fucking spaceship on here, <laughs> you know? It's cute. It's pretty sick though. Like, have you ever seen anything like that? I mean, yeah, when a kid's toy. Hey. Where's the strap? Yeah, it doesn't even come with a strap. Just kidding. <laughs> I got one. I did have to pay extra for this though. So that's pretty fucked that it doesn't even come with like one of those little generic white straps, you know, with XG or something on it. You actually have to buy your strap separately. <laughs> so I ended up going with the XG Harvey Light Stick Custom Strap. It came in this nice little black box here. Who's shocked? Put it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> she is just so cool. Like all of XG are too cool. I wish I was them, honestly. Their clothing, their fashion, their attitude is just next level. And Harvey, I think, is such a talented rapper. She's so cool on stage, but then off stage, she's just like so cute. The way she speaks is adorable. And I just think her body is fucking crazy. I just wish I looked like her, to be honest. Ah, oh, she's so pretty. So I got this one. Again, 12 years or older. You cannot stand XG if you are under 12, apparently. Let's see what else it says. They always have weird stuff on here. Please be careful not to let the product get caught in the door of a car or train. What? That's so random. This product may shed fluff. Avoid prolonged immersion in water. The material might change with frequent use and the passage of time. <laughs> the passage of time. All right, let's get into it. This looks like it's been tampered with. Let's open it up. I think this this is pretty cool. I've actually seen this already because my friend got the same one and I actually wasn't originally gonna get a light stick strap. I'm glad I did now because I didn't realize that it didn't come with like just a generic one, but I saw my friend get this and I had such FOMO, so I had to get it. It's got a pom-pom on it. I love pom-poms. Oh my God, this is so cool. Nothing in there. Oh my God, I love it. Look, the little pom-pom, it's so soft. That's like a good quality pom-pom. XG products three and a little like alien. <laughs> this also feels like really good quality. Let's get this out so I can look at it a bit better. It's stuck. Probably could have just unclipped it, huh? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Did it the hard way as per usual. Yeah, this is really nice because it's like really raised and it doesn't feel like one of those cheap prints on plastic that's just going to like chip off. It looks really, really good and really, really nice. Like it's going to last for a while. And the chain is really nice. The clip looks quite like heavy duty. So I'm not worried about this like, you know, snapping and breaking at a concert. Imagine if I just pulled it and it just, just snapped right in front of me. No joke. Oh God, better not. So let's see if we can put it on here. I don't really know. I guess you put it on just like that. That seems right, doesn't it? Like that? Yeah, I think that works out. 
It'd be kind of good if the pom-pom was at the back, or maybe not, because then it's like, like that. That's pretty cool. Bigger than the, um, the light stick. Yeah. It's longer than the light stick. That's kind of funny. But this really adds a vibe to it. Got this really bright, colorful attachment on this quite like sleek white design. I'm actually so happy I got this now. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. Look how cool that looks. Ah, little alien Harvey on her spaceship. I really should have got the little Harvey thing that went inside here. There was like a combo deal that you could do on the website where you got the light stick, the little keychain, and then also the name inside for whatever member you wanted. I think you had to be like an Alphas member to do that. And I'm not a member of the fan club. Oh well, I can probably just buy one of the little things from somewhere if I feel like I want to. It makes me feel like I want to crack it open again. <laughs> it's so tactile, this thing. Fucking let's open it up. Do I have to read the fucking manual again? God damn it. Strap hole, battery cap. Battery cap, that makes me feel like you just have to... <laughs> All right. Another twist. You just untwist it. It's really <laughs> not ideal to do it while the fucking keychain is on there. Oh, what a fucking surprise. What a surprise. Three battery pack like we have in most light sticks. Here's the batteries I prepared earlier. Don't know which ones work as per usual. We did last time before you put all the dead batteries in the same place. I was supposed to separate them and I didn't. <laughs> fucking shoot me, all right? This is gonna be a long day. <laughs> no. All right, it's gonna work, don't worry about it. I really should have put the light stick thing on after. Click. Probably take it off. It seems like it'd be very easy to take off. All right, we've got the batteries in. Um, I can't remember which one of these settings was on. So <laughs> actually I think it was, it's probably the top one, right? Is on. Let's see. All right, hold it. Nope, let's try the middle one. <laughs> hold it down. Oh God, the bottom one. The bottom one I'm pretty sure was Bluetooth. Oh fuck. All right, now I definitely have to take the strap off. What a fucking disaster. That's the little flashy flash of a Bluetooth mode if I ever saw one. That must be off, <laughs> on. Oh, I didn't even press it and it turned on. There's the white. Yellow, blue, purple. That's for Harvey. Orange, red, green, and then you get like a flashy flash of all the different colors for the different members. Was that seven colors? It didn't seem like seven. Yeah, I guess so. Wait. Oh, this one is one of the colors for the members. Silver, gold, blue, purple, red, green. Oh, <laughs> and then gay mode. Yay! Very pretty. It would be really cool with the different members' names in there. Oh, so regrets now. Much regret. I like it. <laughs> Party time. XG are coming to Australia soon. So I'm pretty happy that I have my light stick all ready to go. And I think everyone should get one, to be honest, because this is pretty cool. One of the best light sticks I've seen in a long time. Uff. Oh. Bluetooth. Eek. Oh, that's a bit hard to get in the center actually. Cause it's like- So off is in the middle? Yeah. Off is in the middle. So it's a little bit difficult to like get it right bang in the middle, but it's not bad. All right, let's do a little bit of a ranking then on my um, light stick tier list. If you haven't watched that video, go and watch that one after this because you'll be able to see where this will rank with all the other light sticks I have in my collection. So I really like the look of this. I think it's super, super unique. I thought it was a bit strange at first that it's quite small, but I think it works for the level of detail that it has. The spaceship is super cool. I like that it's a different like shape and design to the more sort of usual just white ball on a stick. I also like the fact that it kind of looks like a little ray gun. That's, that's pretty cool. And that it opens up as well. And you've got that real like, unique feature of being able to switch out the middle part for all the different members. Just makes it look super, super cool. 
In terms of the feel of it, even though it is quite small, it does feel nice to hold in the hand. It is quite heavy, this part of it. The top is quite nice and light, so you don't feel like it's top heavy. And yeah, I guess the chain also adds to that sort of like weightiness to it. The shape of it as well really helps the grip. It's got this nice silicon grip to it as well, so that's really comfortable to hold. And then also, I didn't realize this before, but it's got little divots along here as well to kind of put your fingers on. So yeah, overall it feels really nice to hold. And because the functionality of this is, you know, clicking it like that, being able to hold it comfortably, I think is really important. So in terms of the functionality of it, I really like all the different colors. I think it's cool that they've coded all the colors to different members. I like that you have to click this to change the color. That makes it really fun. The only negative I'd say is that button at the back. It is a little bit difficult to get it to that off position in the middle, but you know, it's not too bad. Like I'm sure the button will kind of loosen up once you've used a little bit and it won't be so difficult to move. I thought that this might feel a little bit like easy to break, but it doesn't seem like it will break. And the fact that they have made it like a little unscurry thing, I think is good. It doesn't feel like you're gonna break it easily. And this being unscrewed as well, like that being a screw functionality, I kind of like that. It's not usually like that. Feels well made, you know? As, as well as the keychain, like it all just seems really high quality and that they've put some thought and money into it, which is really nice. For such a sort of small group from a smaller company, it's nice to see them put a lot of thought and attention to detail into their merchandise. I didn't see this before, the little Alphas logo on there, the little fandom logo on the little trigger point. Love that. I think to no one's surprise, this light stick is gonna go into the S tier. I just think it's so, so unique. Um, no one else has really done a light stick like this. And I will feel very proud to display this on my little cabinet and take it to the concert and shine it purple for Harvey. She's so pretty. And I did not forget that we also get a complete photo card set of all the members, which is super, super nice. I always love it when they do this. Here they are with beautiful holographic printing on the back. Look at that, that's gorgeous. XG, Extraordinary Girls. And they've got all their names listed on the back here as well. So let's take a little look at them one by one. I just kind of placed these here in no particular order. So let's just start here with Kokona. Ah, cute. Oh my gosh, this was before she shaved her head. She um shaved her head in the music video for Woke Up, which is fucking iconic. So then all the stages that they did for their promotions, she had a shaved head, which is so freaking unusual for an idol. The balls on her to do that, inspiring, to be honest. These nails are so crazy, like they're, I don't know how to, like they're like a triangle. They go out like that and not in. I feel like they just do whatever styling they want and whatever they do looks incredible. So that's a huge slay in my opinion. It seems like we're going to get photo cards of all of them holding the light stick, which I always really like. Now let's have a look at Maya. Cute. She's got nice nails too. Nice yellow nails. Her hair looks freaking incredible. What the hell? So shiny, beautiful. Let's look at Juria. Oh my God, her hair looks good too. The, the fringe looks kind of random though. It's like covering her eyebrows, but in a very strange way. So it makes it look like her fringe is the eyebrows, but she still looks very cute. I like how they're all doing the little kissy pose and her nails are sick too. Oh my God. So I think they just um, take a lot of vitamins, I guess, to have beautiful nails and beautiful hair. Not that like taking vitamins would help your acrylics look better. <laughs> They've all obviously spent like $300 getting acrylic nails. Huge sleigh. And now we have Harvey. Here's my girl looking adorable in a little knitted hat and a little wink face. I love winky faces. She's also got sick nails. They're all different. Holding the light stick in a little puffer jacket. Now we have Hanada. Woo, her face looks so shiny. I like her makeup. It looks really natural. And the blonde hair really suits her. It's, this shirt is kind of strange though. It's like a little, like a peasant shirt. <laughs> Still slay though. You know that style, that like cottage core, like country bohemian peasant style. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Now we have Tiza. Oh my goodness. She is so beautiful. Look at her eyes. They look massive. They all just have such nice nails. I actually need to figure out what nails I want to have for only one of. So maybe I should take these photo cards to the nail salon and like show them as inspo and be like, do my nails like this, please. Very beautiful. And Durin. Whoa. 
That's cool. Is that like a perfume bottle necklace? Love that. And her hair looks so cool. I like this short style on her. These are very cute photo cards. Shit, now's up. They're not shit. You can't even see, don't talk. You always like, I can't see. <laughs> You shit nails. You just didn't mention it. <laughs> Her nails look great. <laughs> the one thing I will say about these photo cards though is that they are very matte. Like they're not that kind of usual shiny, smooth photo card feeling. They're quite like rough and matte feeling. Are they a bit thinner than Um no, they don't feel thinner. Like they feel good, like they feel good thickness and quality and stuff. Well, that's really cute. I love that. I love to get a full set of all the members. I really like the color tones in this, all the browns um, and yellows and stuff, and their nails look amazing, their hair looks amazing. They are just so slay! I mentioned at the start of the video that I had another extra special piece of merch that I picked up from the collection. I got the XG Tamagotchi collab Harvey Tamagotchi. I am so freaking excited. Look what I got! I could not wait any longer to open this, so I really wanted to do a quick video to show you guys this fucking amazing collab between XG and Tamagotchi. This is like ultimate 90s kid K-pop stan shit and I am obsessed. XG have been absolutely freaking killing it lately. <laughs> They randomly dropped this like insane lineup of merch. I saw that they had Tamagotchis and I literally couldn't say no. <sighs> Me and Tamagotchi go way back. Um, like a lot of 90s kids, I had one when I was little. Um, they've had a pretty big revival lately and I did have one recently. It was probably like, when do you reckon it was? Four years ago or something? Maybe yeah. a bit more? Yeah. Um, I called it Jesus because it kept dying but then I would like bring it back to life. <laughs> it was so, I can't believe I actually did that, that's so dumb. So I love Tamagotchis, always been a huge fan and I can't believe K-pop Tamagotchis haven't been a thing until now because that is the market that you want to tap right there. I got the Harvey version because Harvey is my favorite member of XG. I think she is so freaking talented and she's so cute and cool and beautiful and I just wish I was half as awesome as she is. But yes, here we go, the Harvey version. There are seven versions of these because there's seven members and they all designed them themselves. So on here you can see that there's like a little drawing of a unicorn, um, which Harvey designed. So that's pretty cool that they're super personal to the members and they all look really different. They're all different colors, different designs. So. It's really fun and it makes you feel like you want to get them all, of course. Catch them all. Catch all the Tamagotchis. That's not the Tamagotchi tagline, that is the Pokemon tagline. So on the front here we've got XG Tamagotchi produced by Harvey and all the little pictures of... These are the original Tamagotchi characters, aren't they? Like I recognise all of these. But then you've got the little unicorn there, which is obviously the design that Harvey's made. I think the packaging is just so nice, all this hollow. XG Tamagotchi Extraordinary Girls. That's what XG stands for, in case you didn't realize that. And on the back, you've got like the little picture of it and all the different functions that it does. You know, classic Tamagotchi, your feed button, bathroom button, health, your little games and shit that you can play. And yeah, it's got this little thing that's like, which character do you want to get? And it has all the different Tamagotchi characters um, that you can get when the egg hatches. So that's exciting. Who are we going to get? Manufactured by Bandai Co. Limited, Japan. XG are Japanese, so it does make sense that they um, collabed with Tamagotchi. I was just telling Josh before that they're a Japanese group doing K-pop in English. And that's what they're known for. <laughs> it's like, okay, and they're fucking carving that niche. Like, they are killing it. It's insane. Harvey's Australian as well, part Australian, so... She's so cool! All right, I really want to open it. Let's open it. I really don't want to ruin the packaging. I don't know why I'm going to keep it, but I probably will. Look at all the hollow, it's just fucking cool. I get what all the buttons do. I think that's burned into my brain. For real. It's the same shit as it always has. Oh, God, is there another one? Oh no. 
All right, let's open it up. I like you said quick video, and that was like the slowest peel ever. Now you're just like <laughs> sexily undressing it. Here she is. XG collaboration. And it's got the little print on the front with the little Tammy. Tammy Tan. Let's open it. No photo card, I don't think. Some of the merch. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Some of the merch did have photo cards, but not this one. <laughs> I'm like, it's not in frame. No, it's in frame. Alright, let's see. No photo card. Instructions? Do we need the instructions? Absolutely not. Wait. Are they branded? The instructions? Mm, Tamagotchi Gen 1. I don't think they are branded actually, just generic. Root! It tells you how to use the keychain. Like, Thank God for that. Like if you don't know how to use one of these beady things. Oh, do we have a battery? No, it'll have like a pull tab on it. Yeah, it will, surely. Alright, let's have a look. So we've got a nice purple design with the unicorn. Oh, it says XG at the back. So I think that means that the back of like the background of the Tamagotchi will say XG. And a nice lavender strap. I don't need the instructions. It's pretty stiff. Well, that's good. You want it to be stiff. You don't want it to fall off your shit. <laughs> oh my god. All right. I'm gonna break it. Like okay. And. There we go, it says Harvey on the front with a little drawing there. What is it? I think it's a little alien. Their concept is kind of that they're like aliens from outer space on earth. So that makes a lot of sense. And on the back, there's nothing, but it's a nice like sparkly purple. Maybe we do need a battery. All right, then we have to look at the instructions. <laughs> what, usually it has a pull tab. Before raising a Tamagotchi character, you must do the following. Loosen the screw on the outside of the device and remove the battery cover. Oh, insert one new battery. Oh my god, there's no battery? Oh, Josh. Battery sold separately. Oh. I'm so pissed. And it's 9.20, so we can't even go to the store. I'm so sad. I wanted to hatch it tonight. Oh, no. Sorry, we can go look through the drawers, but I don't think we've got any of those. Update. Unfortunately, she has passed. Thanks for joining me for my XG light stick unboxing and review. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think this light stick is absolutely amazing. You should go buy one. Influence. <laughs> I'm an influencer. Let me know what you think about the light stick in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so, so much to me. Thanks as always for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I feel like in other videos, I'm like, I'm not an influencer. I can't say I'm an influencer and I'm like, <laughs> I'm not good at maths. I'm just trying to get pumped, you know? I just like yelling. <laughs> I didn't need to fart, I just needed to adjust my ass cheeks. That was so loud. Just do the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> Every fucking week. Ah, like I have to transport it all the way over there. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this looks like she's got one fucking huge eyebrow, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> did that work? Or? What, what did you want? Work in what way? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. Why are my words not happening today? <laughs>